I tried so many plugins throughout these years, and in this video, I will rank 25 of the most famous Figma plugins in 2023. This is all based on my experience as a senior product designer, so it will probably be different for you. Please don't be mad. In this video, I will skip software-specific plugins like After Effects, Protopie, and Framer because I think that depends a lot on what software you use and it doesn't evaluate the plugin itself, it's just what other software you use. For example, I don't use After Effects, that doesn't mean the plugin is bad or, or good. So we're starting with Better Font Picker. This plugin allows you to preview the font that you're going to apply in your designs. And I think is a great idea. It's something that the default font picker from Figma is definitely lacking. But I tried to use it a couple of times and there are many fonts that I definitely have installed, but I cannot find it using this plugin. For example, Poppins or Roboto. I can definitely find those using the default font selector. But for some reason, I can't using this plugin. So for me, it's a C. Great idea, but plugin. Now, let's talk about Blush. Blush is a great plugin. It's an extensive library of illustrations. But because of the nature of this plugin, I mean, any plugin that covers illustration for me it's not something that i use very often because illustrations are very related to the brand that you're building for or the company you're working with and you cannot use generic illustrations in your designs or at least for me it's really hard to use and i try to use it once or twice but i never i can never find an illustration that adapts to the brand i am working with so in this case, it's not something specific about this plugin. I think they did a great job building the plugin, but because of the nature of it, for me, is a B. Now, Autoflow. Autoflow for me is an amazing plugin and not being able to use this plugin will, will hurt my productivity and my team's productivity too, because it really helps you clarify your designs and the user flow before handing off these designs to your developers. Even talking to my developers, they were really impressed on how clear my designs were after using Autoflow, and I don't think they have a clear competitor. So for me, Autoflow is a clear example of an S plugin. Now, Breakpoints. Breakpoints is a great plugin. I even have a video tutorial only for this plugin. I highly recommend it to watch it. This plugin helps you show how your designs behave from one frame to the other. I even got great feedback from my developers. And the only reason why I don't put this plugin in S is because you will not use it very often. You don't need to show responsiveness for all your features. So I use it once or twice per month. So for me, it's an A. Now, chart lines. Chart lines allows you to quickly draw chart lines like the name of the plugin and it's very simple and it's very well made and it's straight to the point you quickly personalize your chart and you have a vector with, that you can again edit in figma it's not something that i will use every day or every week i may use it once every every month so great plugin again but similar to blush i don't use it very often so for me it's a b contrast helps you measure and improve the accessibility of your designs and i think in my opinion is a really well made plugin it's very hard to stick with all the accessibility measurements that is always good to scan your designs at least once or twice before handing off your development so for me it is an a isometric is a plugin that helps you present your designs better in a kind of like a 3d way that you can use on your portfolio or in Dribble or other websites. I think it's a great way to, to show your, your skills. But the, I have a problem with this plugin is that it's very limited. The angles that you can apply to your designs are very limited. And being that that's the only purpose of this plugin, it's kind of annoying for me to have that limited freedom for my isometrics. And having this other plugin that is, is cute that, that you can not only use for, for frames, but that you can also use it for text and everything else. I don't see a scenario where I will need to use isometric instead of skewed that. So for me, it's a D or, or C. I will say C because I use it before. 
yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it in C right now. Maybe we're gonna change it later. Now, Fig GPT. I tried to use it so many times and I never works. And I had ChatGPT open in another screen. So it's always faster and better for me just to work on my other screen, get whatever I need from ChatGPT. And for some reason, using the same account, I never can get any results using this plugin. So since I tried to use it so many times, I will put it as a D because I never got anything useful from this plugin. Now, HTML to design is a great plugin. This plugin allows you to get the Figma designs of a complete website in a matter of seconds. It can take like a minute sometimes, but the the value you're getting for this plugin, I think is, is awesome. And now that I do more of these YouTube tutorials, I start using this plugin more and more. So it was a B for my like work purposes, but an A for the combining YouTube and, and my work, I think for now, for me is an A right now, but it's probably for you will be around between A and B, depending on how much you use this plugin. I don't think it gets to be an S because it's not something that you will use every day, but definitely an A or a B. Iconify. If you ever use Figma plugins, you probably heard about Iconify. For me, it's the most extensive library of icons. And I know that the, some icons sometimes are bigger than others or the quality of some icons are better than others. But because of the, the extensive variety of icons they have, I all, almost 100% of the times I use this plugin, I found what I need. And, and I use it almost every day. So for me, Iconify is an S. And since we're talking about icons, maybe we can we can talk about all the only icons plugins that I have here. So I have icons aid, icon sacks, um, material symbols from Google, and what else? I think those are yeah. We have four plugins for icons here. We can talk about icon sacks first. In terms of the signs of and quality of the icons of icon sacks, I think is the best. I love the style of what they have, but they don't have a variety or what they have is, is nothing compared to what you can find using Iconify. And the problem with I icon sacks is that if you start your project by using icon sacks and then you need to replace it, it's really hard to find something that adapts to the same style that they have. So once I even needed to change all of my icons because I start with icon sacks and then I couldn't find what they, what I needed on another part of the project. So since they are lacking variety, I will put it in C. Again, if you're really lucky to find all the icons you need, maybe for you can be an S, but for me right now is a C because the lack of variety. Icons 8, I really don't like this plugin, to be honest because having a paid version kind of mixed with your free version and you don't have a filter that where you can only see the free icons, for me is really annoying. Um, sometimes you're kind of happy because you think you found what you're looking for, but it ended up being a paid version. So I tried to use it once and I hate the paid tier and I don't see myself ever using this again, having other options like Iconify or Material Symbols. So sorry, Icons 8 for me is a D. So now Material Symbols is a plugin from Google and their variety is really close to Iconify. To be honest, I have been testing both, comparing um, one with the other and they are really close in variety. It's still Iconify a little bit is a little bit larger in terms of library, but the quality of the icons that you can find in material symbols is a little bit better. You can make sure often all of them are vectors. You can play around with the width of your icons with the with the style. Um, yeah, for me, it's an A. It's really close to Iconify, so I'll put it for me is an A. Now, Image Tracer. I think this plugin is is great. 
Um, I don't use it very often and the only purpose I give to this plugin was to give it some outlines to, for example, my my profile picture and sometimes I, I use it for for YouTube thumbnails but because it's I don't I don't know if there's any other competitor where you can do the same that you can do in using image tracer it's a great plugin but I don't think I use this in its full potential let me know in the comments if you found another purpose for this plugin so great plugin but I don't use it very often for me is a uh, is a B so now mockups and mockup studio is it's good that we have these two together and i will talk first about mockup studio because it's my favorite between these two these two plugins are great is they allow you to create quick mockups um on your designs both of them have a very extensive library both of them have a paid version and it's understandable because of the quality of the pictures that you get i think it's something that if you're really working on maybe presenting your designs is something that you need to pay for because they're they're saving to you a lot of time so both of them are great plugins but i found mockup to be kind of buggy and there are many times that i try to use the plugin and for some reason i need to restart the plugin reset it try and close it and open it again to make it work in terms of variety i think they're very close but since mockup is a little bit buggy i will put it here in c and i'll put this in b only because i don't use it very often that can be different for you because I, as, a, as a product designer i don't need to present the, my designs very often as a, in mockups i don't i'm not a freelancer maybe if you are a freelancer you will use it more often same thing for isometric or skew that now Big Scud and Remove BG. These two plugins allow you to remove the background of your image very quick. And the amount of time these plugins save you is amazing. And I think they most of the time do an, a very good job. But once you have it set up, they are very easy to use. Just select your image and run the plugin wait for a couple of seconds and that's it. And I found both to be really good. I even have a video comparing these plugins and the quality of both of them are really good so for me both of them will go in between a and b i'll put it in b both because to be honest i couldn't find clear difference between these two plugins they are very similar now skew that helps you have changed the perspective of your of your designs and i really like the freedom and the easy to use of this plugin again way better than isometric in my opinion and i don't know why isometric is so limited compared to the angles that you can apply using skew that so for me skew that is uh b because i don't use it very often again if you're a freelancer probably it is different for you and of course we have Unsplash here, this extensive image library where you can find almost anything you want. Um, to be honest, you can use it on high fidelity prototypes, low fidelity, and sometimes these images even get to production. If you never use Unsplash, I really don't know what you're doing in a Figma plugins video. I can say enough how much time this plugin has saved to me and I use it almost every day so it's definitely an s3 now we have blobs i love how simple this plugin is and if you have blobs in your in your design style let's say you're working in a company that use blobs a lot in in their in their design style i think you're gonna use this plugin a lot it's very simple you can customize the blob as however you want personalize it based on your brand or whatever you can even use mask and combine it with ants plus images so great plugin that i rarely use this so it is a b for me now content reels i know there are some people that really love this plugin basically this plugin allows you to quickly fill your content in your prototypes i think the value that you were getting on this plugin used to be higher be before we have chat gpt but as i mentioned before i always have chat gpt open on one of my screens 
So if, if I really need any specific content, most of the time I, I use ChatGPT. If I need an image, I use an splash. So I don't I don't have the need to use Content Reel anymore. And the quality of the image that you get using Content Reel is really bad, especially if you compare it with Unsplash. So for me, having bad images and having ChatGPT, this goes to C. Now, Figmoji is a plugin that allows you to find kind of like very kind of different style of emojis. I like some styles that they have so because that's why I, I use them, but I hate the fact that they don't have the option to search for emojis. So it's kind of like an obvious feature if you that's the whole purpose of the of the plugin. So for me, that goes to see. Now, Lauren Ibsen, again, similar to Content Reel, they used to be very useful um, before having ChatGPT. But now, if you have ChatGPT open, you can have a better quality of content instead of just some random Lauren Ibsen that you need to quickly replace once you get to high fidelity prototype. So, I think it needs to go even lower than Content Reel. Sorry, Lauren Ibsen, I used to use you a lot before, but for me now, is a D. So measure, it's a plugin for handoff designs. At first I thought it was really useful and it's really well made and it's very intuitive to use. But then talking to my developers, they say it's not saving them time because they will still need to use the inspect option in Figma. They, they don't see much value in this feature and sometimes even gets very cluttered on the screen when you apply this a lot. I think it's between C and and b for me i think it should be a b because it's not buggy and it's not lacking any feature and that's it we got to the end of the list really fast i need to admit that this was a really fun to make video and yeah this is my rank for the most famous figma plugins and again this is based on my experience as a senior product designer it can be something completely different for you I am really curious to know if you agree or disagree and even better if you know of another plugin that is bringing you a lot of value and yeah please leave that comment below and if you want to learn more about figma wxd framer and everything related to product design follow me and see you on my next video bye bye